The Eagles clinch the number one seed and break records along the way, including this catch by A.J. Brown, 35 yards on the opening play of the game. We're going to break that play down right here on the All-22 Review. I'm Fran Duffy, and we are going to take a look back at the Eagles' Week 18 victory that helped them secure the number one seed and home field advantage throughout the playoffs and uh, certainly that first week of rest here in Wild Card Weekend. A huge win for the Eagles against the rival New York Giants. What are some of the plays that stood out on film. Well, we will start with that record-breaking catch by A.J. Brown. A.J. finished four catches for 95 yards, just shy of 1,500 yards on the season. He broke Mike Quick's record, single-season receiving yards. It was something that stood for nearly 40 years with this Eagles franchise. How did the play happen? Let's break down the first play from scrimmage for this Eagles offense. First play of the game, we see A.J. Brown break the Eagles' all-time single-season receiving record, and it happens on this slant route. And you can see A.J. Brown isolated at the top of the screen outside the numbers. That's a little bit wider than we typically see on this route, and that allows for more space for A.J. Brown to be able to run into. You've got Devontae Smith working in motion. The Giants may have messed this coverage up a little bit, but regardless, so much room for number 11 to work. He's able to take this one 35 yards, sets the Eagles' record in the process. And A.J. Brown, not the only wide receiver to break a record here in this game because Devontae Smith set the Eagles' single-season receiving record for a wide receiver. 95 catches on the year for Devontae Smith. That broke Irving Fryer's record from a few decades ago. Let's now get into Dallas Goddard. He had a couple catches here in this football game. We talk all the time about Goddard's ability to impact the offense in a multitude of ways, run game and pass game. That showed up here in this football game. Now, we know... The Eagles, they have the ability to attack you in multiple ways, and uh, Dallas Goddard is a big part of that. Let's take a look at some of my favorites, and it really plays on their willingness to use Dallas Goddard at the point of attack one-on-one -on -one against defensive ends. I really feel that one of the things that makes Dallas Goddard special is that as a focal point of the pass game, he can also be left one-on-one -on -one with a defensive end in the run game and in the pass game. That is not a common quality amongst the top tight ends in football. The Eagles are more than willing to leave number 88 one-on-one -on -one with a defensive end play side or like you see here on the back side of a run play and they use that to their advantage. Watch here a little bit earlier in the game. One-on-one -on -one with a defensive end. The defensive end is bracing for it. He's ready to take on Goddard one-on-one one, but Dallas gives him the little okie doke this little influence block here on the counter run play. Really nice design from the Eagles on this play, and that gets Miles Sanders downhill and near a first down. Then, you see a little bit later, once again, Dallas Goddard at the snap of the ball. It looks like he's going to be blocking a defensive end one-on-one. -on -one. This is commonplace. You expect to see this from number 88 often in this offense, but here it's just a little screen pass, and it goes out the back door for a first down. Dallas Goddard's ability and willingness to go one-on-one -on -one against defensive ends, that that is a huge part of why he is one of the best tight ends in football because it opens up so much else for him in both the run and the pass game. With Sunday's victory over the Giants, the Eagles set franchise records, third down efficiency, and red zone touchdown percentage. This offense, just an example of efficiency and explosiveness throughout the entire season. Those two stats, obviously very, very important when it comes to that. And Dallas Goddard, a huge part of the offensive game plan, both on third down and in the red zone. Let's now transition to the offensive line, where their versatility is also an integral part to this offensive success and will be important for this team going into the post season. There were two plays here in this game that really stood out to me because when you talk about the offense's ability to move the football on the ground, there are two kinds of run schemes. There are gap schemes and zone schemes. Typically, when you talk about zone runs, you're talking about angles and athleticism and guys in space using their ability to move people, not necessarily with strength, but with athleticism and technique. And then you've got gap schemes where it's power football, smash mouth, move people off the ball. Well, the Eagles, with their versatility and all the different skill sets they have up front, they kind of turn the tables a little bit on defenses. These two plays show you why. Here's the Eagles offense, 12 personnel, two tight ends on the field from the shotgun. And this is going to be a basic inside zone. Look at the vertical displacement from these four Eagles offensive linemen. Those double teams moving those defensive tackles off the ball. Look at all the room here. Look at the space, the softness for Boston Scott to be able to work between the tackles. He lowers his shoulder and finishes into the end zone for a touchdown. An Eagles offense that had a, set a franchise record in reaching the end zone on the ground here this year. Another play later in the game. This one out of 12 personnel, 
gap scheme run. This is going to be a counter run play where instead of it being smash mouth downhill, look at the angles, look at the athleticism, look at all of these other things that come into play. It's not just pound and ground with these Eagles offensive line. They can beat you in so many different ways. And one of the plays there, that Boston Scott touchdown run, that cemented the Eagles' place in history. Fourth most rushing touchdowns in a single season in NFL history. The highest mark since 1976. Just a really impressive mark here for this rushing attack. We know it to be one of the best in football. Let's now go over to the defensive side of the football where that unit was chasing history as well. They fell short of the all-time sack record. They finished third in NFL history. 70 sacks on the year for this Philadelphia Eagles defense. They got two in this game untraditional sense two sacks here in this game let's take a look at how the Eagles were able to get those two takedowns the Eagles got two sacks in this game against the Giants they came in very non-traditional ways you see here the trick play to the Giants on the fly it looks like it's gonna be a double pass give a lot of credit to credit to Robert Quinn here staying home on the quarterback Davis Webb he deters that throw and allows Kaiser White to get home for a sack then a fake field goal attempt look at Christian Ellis in coverage does an outstanding job against the tight end he kept his eyes in the right place Milton Williams cuts the, the punter off at the pass that prevents him from running that's the second read on that play then you get all all the black jerseys flowing to the football. Zach McPherson gets home for a sack. The Eagles, 70 sacks, a franchise record on the year. So those two sacks there, a great example of full team defense, guys chipping in in a multitude of ways. And we know one guy that has been at the center of this Eagles pass rush, the free agent addition, the hometown kid, Hassan Reddick, making his return here to the Philadelphia area this spring. He comes through 16 sacks here this season, and he did not get a sack in this game against the Giants, but he contributed a lot of different ways, had a number of pressures, including some on third down. But I thought this one very late in the game really stood out to me. Let's take a look at my favorite run from Hassan Reddick against the Giants. It feels like every week Hassan Reddick has a pass rush that looks a lot like this, where you say, how is he able to do this? Little hesitation move to get the tackle to open up his chest, and then he just wins with power, runs right through it, and then stays alive. Look at the surge through contact. Nearly gets a sack fumble there. Impressive QB hurry. Not going to show up in the stat sheet. Happens weekly for Hassan Reddick. Last but not least, I wanted to round out this segment, giving some love to a young player on this Eagles defense. Milton Williams has really turned it up over the last couple of months. And so I thought, you know what? He had a couple plays here against the Giants. Let's highlight some of that, but also take a look at some plays over the last month or so. What Mil Milton Williams has put on film has been really impressive. Let's take a look at some of my favorite plays from number 93 over the last four games. It feels like every single week, second-year defensive tackle Milton Williams shows up on tape. And you see him here early on against the New York Giants. Watch the first step quickness to get off the ball with that swim move, penetrate into the backfield, and get the running back Gary Brightwell down for a loss behind the line of scrimmage. That first step explosiveness, that juice off the ball, shows up time and time again. Look at here, last week against the New Orleans Saints, he beats the offensive lineman off the ball. He beats one block. He beats another block in the backfield, forces the running back to bounce gets the ball out to TJ Edwards in the flat and you see the effort there all the other green jerseys flowing to the football that disruption starts with Milton Williams getting into the backfield but it's not just the first step quickness watch him here against the rookie first round pick Tyler Smith who has been mauling people on a weekly basis for this Dallas offensive line Milton Williams drops his anchor stands firm stands square and gets the back down at the line of scrimmage in the run game and then this is a play we highlighted at the time look at the effort here in the screen game the second year defensive tackle Milton Williams He's showing up every single week and limited snaps in this defensive tackle rotation. Been a lot of fun to watch his development. All right, so impressive stuff there from Milton Williams. Hope to see more of that here as the playoffs get underway, which speaking of, the Eagles now in a waiting game, just like the rest of us. How will Wild Card Weekend expand and develop here over the next few days? Well, we will wait. We'll break it all down, though, over on the Eagle Eye in the Sky podcast on Eagles Game Plan. You can stay tuned for more right here on PhiladelphiaEagles.com.